How's it going, everybody? It's me, the Wampat! Yeah, yeah, I am back. Did you miss me? <laughs> Anyways, another food review. You're probably guessing that already. But anyways, what we have here is doo -doo, Napoleon Bonaparte. Sweetie, so these must be Josephines. So we'll call these Josephines because they're made by Napoleon Bonaparte. Wait, wait. Bonner. Okay, scratch all that. Okay, um, I need you guys to stop this. Or reshoot it. What's that? Oh, I guess we're already rolling. We don't have time to reshoot it. My my crew here, consisting of myself, says we got to keep going. Anyways, <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> you're like, wow, how many people you have working for you? No, just me. So these are Bonnard Sweetie Chewy Candy. And the back says it is melon and pineapple flavored cream candy with the creamy filling and watermelon and tropical fruit flavored chewy candy with cream filling. Okay. There's two flavors. You've got, I'm assuming the yellow is pineapple and the red is melon. And then the green is probably watermelon and tropical fruit. Ugh. And you have some type of creamy filling shown by there and shown by there. These are from the people in Turkey. This is a staple part of the diet of the people from Turkey. They have these on their breakfast table every single day. Not really. I'm just making up ridiculous facts. Seeing how gullible people are. And if you want to do a quick self-test to see if you're gullible, say oranges as slow as you can, as loudly as you can, and see if it turns to the word gullible. Anyways, cracking into this thing right here is going to take a search warrant and a couple other things. This is one of, it doesn't want to respond. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> We're getting in. Yay. Look at that. We are in. Ha ha ha. All right. They're all wrapped up nicely so you can share with your friends. You don't have to worry about people digging in the bag and contaminating everything. So let's try this one here, which I'm assuming is going to be the melon and pineapple. And the wrappers are color coordinated. Hopefully they put them in here. And, and I imagine these are put together in a factory. You have a conveyor belt where people are pulling these off, putting them in here, fold them up like so, and then putting a the quick twist, uh, twist on the ends like so. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Anyways, that's what it looks like. It's squishy like gum. Um, the picture shows it being open on the end, but it's not, it shows there's more stripes, but there's just, it's like a pink piece of bubble gum with four stripes. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Those, I was expecting, I mean, okay, let me start over. These have a nice fruit taste to them. The way reading the package built them up, I thought they were just going to have like all kinds of cream inside. And I'm not, uh, there's a little bit, I guess. Not much. You can see it right there. Little, little bit, little, little bit. But this is, it's like the consistency of a Starburst, but tastes like a Skittles, if that makes any sense. Tastes like Skittles. You can taste the pineapple. You can taste the melon. And sometimes when they mix different fruits together, one is overwhelming the other one. This one, it's about an even balance. It's like melon with a hint of pineapple. Usually when pineapple is in something with something that's not quite as strong, it's usually really overpowering. But this is a good balance of both of them. Mm. 
And there's a little squishy center. I guess it didn't bite down far enough. So there we are. That's what that's like. These are the Bonnert Sweetie Candies. I'm sorry, Bonnert Sweeties Creamy Candies in the Tropical Variety. And again, you have your melon and pineapple and then your watermelon. You can tell the difference between the colors. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, I will save these for later, and I will see you guys later. Have a great one. Bye-bye, everybody.